Hello, this is Yuki from We Only Play Games, and I'm here with our first ever server spotlight. Now we've had a server for 10 days, and uh, let's see what we've done in that time. Now you, this is all SMP, all everything gathered by hand, built by hand. No creative mode, except for when I show you stuff. And let's start from the spawn to the community house, made by Devour. And here is where players store supplies that they don't need so that new players can pick them up to start more quickly. Okay, let's move on. Follow the path just towards our city. But we'll take a left here and see what's being built over here. Now right here we have Weasley's house. Weasley 4994. He built a house style house, like a nice big building. Has his furnaces, his chests, everywhere, a bed. Pretty good. Has his big farm out back, a bit of a glitch in, load, in rendering, that's fine. And let's go back along the road. Back to the intersection that we were at. And here we come up to Devour's house. You go up the stairs here, through the front door. Just a little bar set up, some chests, more chests, several floors of tables, spiders spawning in her house. There she is. A living room, a balcony with a nice view into the distance. And more floors. Her bed up here. I love this style of bed, by the way. And another balcony with a view on the moat of the house across the street, which is mine. We'll go to that next. We follow this intersection here. A bit of an ugly entrance. But here we go. We go up here. Have my storage up here. Nether portal here, which we don't need to go into. Um, and up here I have a little melon farm, water supply, a trash can, more furnaces, more melons, a tree farm up here, some more slow rendering. Anyways, some trees. And that's that. Next off, let's keep going. Follow the path. Over here we have Thurston's Tower. Now it's just an empty tower. Stairs all the way to the top to give you a nice view of everything. It's actually a really, really good spot. Everything looks so shiny. And let's move on. Two different roads to get to the same place. This is kind of like the community center piece. We have a mob tower here that I've shown in a previous video. Mobs go up, spawn there, we kill them, we get XP. We have a little enchanting room back here. High level enchantments, low level enchantments, all that. We have our working slime farm here, which I've also shown in the previous video. A ton of slimes in there at the moment. Some skeletons look at me funny. And let's move on. Right here, if we go up, we have Fuzzy Monkey's house. It's more of a have a yard than a house. Really, really nice design with all these vines. It actually locks the door. You can't get in unless you get rid of some vines. There's his name, Fuzzy Monkey. Ooh, backdoor basement. I haven't seen this before. This is really cool. He has all his... Uh, room down there, his stuff, and the little fireplace without the fire. No. Anyways, uh, the reason why you see a bunch of signs on the chests is because we were running Lockett just to discourage people from trying to steal from others. Just leads to a better atmosphere. Let's close this back up and move on down the road to the original sheep farm. Here there should be more colored sheep, but we had a few problems with creepers, and white sheep are all we have left. 
Anyway, another wheat farm. Jeff's farmhouse. Jeff is Groth. Anyways, he has just a, a little tree farm, a little house here. That thing's big. This farm was made by Zashin, by the way. Zashin, you'll see his name later on the sign, I think. Uh, some more reed farm into a ravine, which is really cool. Some more vines. Pumpkin farm, melon farm. And this piece of artwork is pretty cool. This is his tree farm, made out of wool. These trees are made out of wool, and he has actual real trees on the inside here. He even has different kinds of trees labeled. Oak, pine, birch. Up here, we have another floor here. Once I get up, where Zashin stores all his stuff. This is just his personal storage room. Let's go down and move on. We have another community house over here. And that's a little mushroom house that has been destroyed recently and not rebuilt since the owner moved out of it. Oh, that also should be fixed. This is another community house made by Zashin as well. See, you have this lever. That should be working, but creepers, yep. Have been a little problem, just a trippy little tunnel. Green, black. I love that color of combination of wool. It's really cool. And now let's keep going. Over here. We have a long winding wood road all the way up to this pyramid. Surrounded by a mode of fire. And the entire purpose. Oh, this is the owner of the mushroom farm that moved here. Neo X Death. That we see right here. Cyclops. Has his little farm. Has a nether portal. This is his new home. Yeah, just a standard pyramid with creepers around it. That might blow up. Yep. Let's move on to this home over here which I have not visited recently. It's Tachaka's, where his name is right up there. It's really pretty, made of all birch. It has his chest over here. With a bunch of nether brick. Oh, you'll see a lot of nether brick on this server because our nether portal spawned us right next to a fortress, so it's pretty easy to get. He has his little melon farm over here with pistons. I'll just push on the melons and break them. He has his personal pig, his sheep. He has potential for trees here. Has his little fountain. Nice little pattern of checkered pattern of stone brick and nether brick. Right there is a little surprise that we'll show you in a later video. So I won't go too much over that. Now we're just flying back to the intersection that we left off at. We'll go over here. Here's where we left off. And here's G-Generate's house. <laughs> A little present from him, uh, for him, since he hates the New York Giants. And they just won the Super Bowl. And here he is, with an upside down head, which is really, really scary into his house, which is still playing now, but he's working on it. He actually has a nice balcony on the outside, right here, or a nice roof, I mean. A really nice view to the desert, to the town. It's a nice view. Now as we move on from his house, we have another little creation here by Precarious with stone half slabs over here, acting as full blocks. Little brick house, down to a deep mine, all the way to bedrock. Here we have just more little tunnels, winding passageways. Over here, his bed on water, storage room, and all that. 
some crafting tables as the floor. So a little bit of glass arch at the top. Let's close up these doors. And keep going up here. Right here we have Alex Titus's house, which as you can see is completely flooded with lava. So it's generally an area we avoid. We don't like dying. <laughs> um, abandon all ye who enter here. Have a nice day. Oh, first one with paintings on the wall. Some metal bars, which is a bit ominous. A little living room. Jukebox. Yeah, you'll see jukeboxes all around the world because we have a million music discs from that mob tower. A nice little colored roof with a view at the back. Over here. Colored wool. Lava moat and all that. So let's go back along the path over here. Through this little tunnel here. As someone is running away, Adams is running away, try, probably trying to get to his house on time. We have a nice little tree house here on this mountain. Right here. Shack to Sparky. So it's Sparky who owns here. He's in his room down here cooking stuff, looking through chests. Valuable materials. Oh. <laughs> It has valuable materials there, I guess. Random chests. A pretty unique concept here. Made of half slabs and stairs and wood. He has his farm over here, melon farm. Same tree farm as before. And here we have Alex 2290's home. Another tree house up here. Made of wood entirely. Has his bed. Another crafting table floor down here. A little tree, this decoration, nightstand, painting, another jukebox, more chests, furnaces. Yep. And as we move on, we get to Adams's tower. Adams one, two, one, two, three. He doesn't have a road to it yet, but he has his little mode of water, his little tower. Another trippy floor. Makes me think of a kitchen. Um, a few floors, bed, another jukebox, and another nice view up here. Can see what's going on all over the place. There he is again. And we're locked in, so we'll go out down here. And move on to this actual treehouse up here. Kind of hidden away. Difficult to spot. Hey, you built a treehouse in my tree farm. Sparky. So just a little twisted treehouse up here. No lighting, so creepers are often a problem up here as well. Another nice view. Lots of balconies in this world. Oh, what's this that I have not seen? Where is this? Ooh, looks like he has an extension that I haven't visited. Has his nether portal. Did I not go downstairs? Oh, okay. Here we go. Some more storage. Nether door. Oh, this is quite clever. And door farm. I don't know if he tr was trying to spell something or or not. Difficult to tell. Down to his mine. Which I will not go into. Little jack-o-lantern here with lava. Metal gate. Let's exit this way. To his through his nether portal. And continue along the path, which is over here. Ton of obsidian which took forever to mine. Here we come to the melon and pumpkin farm I just showed in the previous video. You 
you see the pumpkins going. Then we have a little staircase up here, all the way up to here. Nice little building made by Devour. To go down this ladder, it's pretty deep. Because what is down here is, you'll see in a second, as soon as we get down, more than a second, but here we are. It's a cave spider spawner. It takes a few seconds for the cave spiders to get here, since you have to go through a long path and uh, drop down, take damage. But we have two spawners, one about 15 blocks that way, and one about 12 blocks that way. So you can hear them in the background. They're going to arrive here eventually. And we use a stone sword, we kill them. We get a bunch of XP, wool, and all that. And that room's not quite finished yet. But there it is. Go this way. We have a house build, built here by Dgen X Rate. Well, more more of a giant apartment complex that has not been finished yet, but the outside is done. It took him days to save up enough stone. Two full double chests that he had to cook. Let's continue along the path over here. And uh, we'll keep going up here, all the way with all this sandstone and obsidian, to the last building on the server, which is made by Precarious as well. Now he has a huge wheat farm here. I'm not too sure what this is, an observatory. Oh, look at the stars, clever. It's quite clever. That was pretty cool. He has a tree here, and another little building, which he names the guest house. I guess he has some storage here, bed, nice little shape in his roof. Something like a stable out here. Old animals, I guess, that he hasn't gotten quite yet, but he will. His windows surrounded by leaves, pretty rich palace here, obsidian, nether brick, and his mansion. Got some paintings on the wall, library, or table, I'm not sure. He has his storage over here, furnaces, crafting tables. And as we keep going, full of black wool all over the place. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't quite finished his rooms up here. He's got his bedroom down, down though. Bit of sandstone. So yeah, that's pretty much what our server looks like so far. It's only been 10 days, so it's going to get better. But, I mean, if you want to join us, check out the link below. And check out the application, fill it out, and we'll get back to you within a day so you can join our server and help it grow more and more. As you can see, we're a very tight-knit community. We all build our buildings next to each other. We help each other out. And that's the kind of play we're looking for. And we have some rendering problem there. Anyways, um, yeah, we're looking for a kind of friendly player that will fit into our community that feels like Vanilla Minecraft still has a lot of potential, creative mind. So anyways, if you like our server, hit us up, and I will see you guys next time.